Hey guys, it's Van again, and last we left off, Neil just got kidnapped by a horse. It was awesome. <laughs> and he's still like kind of, he's still kind of a good character, even though he's kind of a butt sometimes. But um anywho guys, last episode, I accidentally had my microphone here muted. This little guy. Oh wait, I can't lift him up. Uh I can't touch you either. Hmm. But yeah, my microphone was uh, muted the entire time last episode, so I had to use my camera's uh, microphone to s salvage what I could from last episode. So, yeah, hopefully everything's all right. But uh, no further ado, let's get into more to the moon because we just got past the wedding part, and now we just like had to see some roadkill stuff. So yeah, um, I wonder where Doctor Neil went. <laughs> what is he doing, being butt over here? Oh, there's nothing over there. But there's something up here. What could this be? Oh, there's a whole bunch of horses. Oh. Can I ride a horse? Can I ride a horse? Nothing, nothing. Oh, oh, there's something there. I knew I saw something. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. Oh, really? I'll be fine. I'm not a child. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, no, the horses. River, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, let's go. Oh my god. Hey, wait up. <laughs> That's so awesome. I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. <laughs> Eva! Oh god. This is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. Oh, I have to get on that horse now? Oh, what the corn cob. Oh, that's cool! Yeah! Yeah! Gotta wrap my horse! Yeah! This is so cool! Why are there a whole bunch of knights here? What? What's over here? Okay. That's so cool! That's awesome! Neil's just like riding helplessly. You can god dig it, Neil. So here she is. Where, where's John? How did I lose track of John? John, Neil, where the fuck did you guys go? Do I just have to. What? Do I have to click on any of these guys? I'm riding on a horsey! So, I guess I gotta help Neil. Oh, there's Neil. Neil, you idiot. <laughs> I had to bump into him. Thanks, ow. Neil, are you okay? Neil. Neil, where are you doing? Okay, so I haven't got all the memories yet, so I have to keep moving around, I guess. Okay. So I bumped into Neil. I guess I have to bump into her? There's a memory of her. I can just bump into her, right? Come on, get back here! I need to get the memory. There we go. Awesome, I got the memory. So it's like a chasing thing. Yeah. Cool. How do I get off the horse? Here, this memento will do. But I'm not getting on the horse again. You go get the rest of the memory links. I already did! Let's never speak of what happened again. Fucking Jesus. 
Oh, I have to walk up to it and hit enter? Okay, so I guess I'm taking this horse into the next part. Cool. That's better. Yeah, that'll teach him. <laughs> okay. Um... Do that and this. Cool. Got it. Hey, can I just click on it? Cool. Alright. So wow, six minutes. How much more how much more do I have? It really feels like being closer. Is this is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we reached a consensus on the results. Oh, so we get to learn what disease it is, don't we? Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, I could have, I could have saved you a lot of trouble. You have any books on it? This one by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on this subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Elope? What's elope mean? I really don't know what it means. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? I'm married without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. He paused. Nonetheless, sir, you should also... Oh, give the book a read. It'd help you understand your condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's this thing called... Equine therapy... Equine therapy that might help her? A ranch just north of here offers it, I can contact them for you. Gee, shit, it's just real. I can understand why John doesn't want to know anything about River's illness, but, um... But at the same time, like, I'm interested in it myself, so I want to know, but he doesn't have memory of it, so I can't freaking figure it out. But, um... Yeah, basically, with the way things are i can understand the reason john doesn't want to know be anything about it because he wants to think of river has herself and the person she is without like taking anything away from like by knowing what the disease does he wants to think it's all river's decision and all river's call and everything so it's it's really it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot to take in i, I don't know Dr. Rosaline, told you so. Ah, okay, Dr. Rosaline, you don't have to tell him so. Okay, let's see what's up here. Received note, Tony Atwood. Why'd he turn towards me? That was a little weird. Plain taunty handbag. Hmm. What? Okay. So the benches count. Platypus! Stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty good, bad taste in animals, though. Oh my fucking god, stop creating memories like that. Let's see what the doctor's um, person had to say. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? Ticky really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Oh. Thank you. Huh? I guess that explains the ones in the house. No clock ticking. Ooh. Okay. I can walk up here? That's cool. And the clock is the last thing that I need to know. Okay. Oh, he's talking to her. Okay. I'm sorry. I did. I'm sorry. I don't notice things. I'm sorry. I'm bad. What are you going to say? Just a bit longer. They'll be calling you soon. Anything else? No, okay. 
so... What else is left? What's left? Like, how, how much farther do I have to go back? Um... Okay... All right, cool. I got the clock. Now they're activating and go back in time and we have the clock. Ow! I hit my hand on my desk. <laughs> okay. Oh, so is this how they're how they met? Are they in s school now? Psst, look. I know. I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Ooh. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself? What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. That aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Ass. Probably only looks like rubbish because he can't remember it perfectly right now. Holy crap, okay. Where's he going? Movie's over. Guess we have to go out. And thus the movie... This movie sucks both on physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Alright. Fucking Jesus, Dr. Watts. I know you want to enjoy a movie, but god damn it. Oh. Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut, that's not even a full sentence. Look, let's go look for mementos. Jesus, we got like two of them right there. Okay, nothing over there. I still ain't talking to no emo teenager. Wow. What a butthole. Oh, oh, ooh, there's something here. Who's that? Where'd it go? What? Okay. What's with all these people? Why are they disappearing? What are you doing? That's the third person you removed here. Yeah, it's not like it's permanent. Why am I removing people? The fuck? You know, that's poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Then why complain? Why am I doing this? Is there a reason for it? What's over here then? What what's left? Is it is it is there like gonna be some like scary thing that happens here? Or what? Wonder. Getting sit up? Now that's the Kodak moment. <laughs> you relate well with your kin, I see. Oh such a dick. Both of you. Hey, I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we sh construct a lady friend for him, Eva? No. Oh. Hey, John. Quit wasting time and leave him alone. Oh. Fine. I'll go look somewhere else. Clues. Gotta find those clues. Am I supposed to, like, just make everyone disappear so that there's more... something that can happen? Oh, look, this place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. Been creepy for a while. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. Oh, I can't do anything. Aww. What's going on? Oh. Did she notice him leave the theater? River? What? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you in the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching this movie together. Huh. I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? 
We were watching a movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? The difference does it make? You were watching the same movie in the same room. Oh my god, River! So terrible. Jeez. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. What's wrong? You're so weird. She's aw she's freaking awesome. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come on, let's head back in before it ends. Jeez. Freaking adorable. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Okay, so I guess I gotta head in there now? What was that? Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Um... Is he okay? Seems to be. That was weird. Okay, so I have to solve the platypus again. Um... Right. Okay, is there something bad that's gonna happen soon? Cause I don't want it to happen. <laughs> but, okay, um, that's so weird. You know, I think this rat platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey, whatever. Platypus goes back so far. Jeez. Is it back to like when they met? Come on, dude, grow some balls. Um, what? It's not that. Look, maybe there. This wasn't such a good idea. Oh sheesh! What could possibly happen? Let's think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know, and everyone will think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? No. <laughs> God damn it, Watts! <laughs> Don't be a little wuss. Or, or says yes, and, but really means no. Push quit worrying, who would do that? Well, she throws an encyclopedia in my face. I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just tighten your sp straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell. <laughs> Fucking what? Everything will be alright, just turn around. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Shh. Let's go in there. <clears throat> Hello. Oh. That's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? Book? About platypus? <laughs> no. Oh. I think that's great. <laughs> lighthouses. Aww. It's about lighthouses? Huh? Oh my god. There are exactly 16 second order friend. Fresnel light lens lighthouses in the country left. None of them are coastal, and one of them is modified from a sort kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh. No, is that what you're reading about? Did 
This is so cute. Um, say, so you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you some time to consider it. I can. Why? There's no date or time. Um, how about this? Saturday at 8. The system <laughs> Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. You guess we'll work out the details later. I'll just. Oh. Poor Johnny. <laughs> what? What are you looking at me for? I think I'm going to call it how utterly awkward that was. It's fine! Real life is full of awkward moments. You guys should fucking judge people for being awkward. Goddamn game people! Ah. <laughs> well, just forget. I'm not giving in to your expectations. <laughs> Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. <laughs> fucking lots. <laughs> Oh, so I'm playing as Watts right now? Stuff toy platypus. Well, I was supposed to look. I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. Oh. What's over here? He's running so much faster. What the heck were you look doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and be all like, hey, you, go out. Me, you. <laughs> Me, you, now. <laughs> Wait, did I just... Did I just say this in a YouTuber's Life episode? I think it was the fourth one. I did! What the fuck? Am I just like that, Nick? God damn it! Nicks are all alike, I'm sorry. I'm terrible. That's just terrible. I know. It would have still been better than what you just did. Oh my god, Nick. Oh my god. So did you throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. See? I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And I su and suddenly I feel loved. Great. God dang it. Poor Watts. Oh, it's over here. Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. <laughs> oh, come on. It's fun. Only if you can paint. Everyone can paint. It'll get good practice, if you know. It'll get good if you can practice, you know. Okay. Yeah, right. After this class, I'll never pick up a brush again. Nice. Oh, is there more? Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it one day. Oh. Why do I have to draw smooth barrels anyways? <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, you will all be very big da Vinci's. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Okay. So what's over here then? Anything over here? Ooh, there's something else down here. Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone at all? Alright then. Remember, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made he made sail on August 3rd of 1492 and from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Avar Perez de Guzman, who was at the mer mere age of 14. Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. But see, was that so hard? Wow. Hard cases. Um, good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. Wait. What 
condition is that then? Man, I'm getting lost, like, the more they, like, talk about this condition that she has. There you go. Psst, she's coming this way. I'll tab, I'll tab! Receive note, I'll tab. Ah. Oh. All at four, all at four. Oh god. I love that little note. Oh man. Alt tab was awesome. Alright, cafeteria only open during lunch hours. Oh. I feel like the creators of this game probably like put some of their own experiences from their childhoods in here. That's a wrap, you chumps better be better next time. In the atrium? We could use this place later. I just can't believe these court lines are all rectangles in his head. Yeah, they are supposed to be rectangles. Aren't they? Ugh. Fine, you win. Booyah! 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 Oh, there's a piano up here. That's so cool. Uh, anything else down here? I didn't know this is a, a... I didn't know that's what they meant by atrium. I'm sorry, I thought it was a gym. Oh, there you go. I need to follow. What's over here? What's in this room? Why is it so dark? Oh, it's a cafeteria, isn't it? Ooh, there's more. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. Oh, he's talking about how he likes her and stuff. She sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. The duck's a platypus. Quit making words up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? You got your into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that I got a name for them, that we got a name for them, says a lot too. Look, Nick, I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in the sea of typical people. No. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Change isn't always good, you know. What could be going on here? What the hell? Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. That's cold, man. Just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. What the fuck? What do you mean what she has? Wait, so this guy is some kind of human hogging hipster? That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. This is high school? But they look so much younger. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those crazy rabbits. Creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. 
Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning on against the table there. Okay. I'm envious that this kid was there, still there to help him move the pianos when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my old childhood friends. Oh. What the hell? Self-toy platypus. It is of every, every time we see this thing, we are guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left a big, as big a scar on his mind as it did mine. Hmm. Reasons in intense aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. For me, those go on for more than a month nowadays. I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah. So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Oh. He wanted her for her personality? Or for something else? Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. Yeah! That was pretty chilling. Bum. Kame! Uh, oh, for Walnut's sake. Kame! <laughs> hey! Oh. Not cool, Eva. You never block someone in the middle of a kamehameha. You ever cock block someone in the middle of a kamehameha? What? Okay. Well, anyway, anyway, all this weird shit's happening. I don't know what to think. So, anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna cut things off here and we'll continue in the next episode. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. Keep being awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. This got really weird. It's shit. I don't know what to think about John anymore. I thought the whole reason he got into the relationship was for good reasons, and this is just a little weird. If anyone can help explain it to me down in the comments down below, that'd be really helpful. And it would help me understand things after the video and such, so, hey, bye! This is so fucking weird. This is basically Wipeout for Steam, though. And it's really cool. It is so cool! It's just like... Oh shit, dude! I'm not paying for diamonds. Don't mind me. Fuck you. Okay, um, allow us access to a reset bonus without losing anything. My god. god. I'm like right there! I fucking see you! <laughs> I like. Cut it! I, <laughs> I was just clicking on you! <laughs>